Hello Aquarius, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the TarotEmpress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading on your love life, right? If you are new to my channel, welcome. I see an ending, right? I see a relationship that may have ended between you and somebody that uh, you really value and love. And this might have been very painful to deal with. These things do happen. But I do feel like connected to this energy is a sense of solace, right? Things are just not moving forward between you and this person concerned. And... There's no movement, there's no momentum, might not even be communication at this point. Everything might have just come to a standstill. And here you are wondering, what is going to happen? What does the future hold for you and this individual concerned? So let's find out. I see that someone is concentrating on themselves. Someone is either concentrating on their career or concentrating on their life, trying to take care of their own needs, trying to take care of their, you know, own mindset trying to fix things that are broken inside of their heart and um, I pick up from the energies that even though things fell apart and there's a sense of sadness and uh, independence connected to it there's also loneliness right I see that um, one individual is getting very very impatient very impatient it's like you know, you're waiting for this person to do something or they're waiting for you to do something. But it's a very difficult set of circumstances. Like what do the two of you do under these, you know, uh, strenuous, strenuous times? In the past, someone was uh, thinking a lot. Someone was either wanting to be in control, wanting to be in charge, you know, calling the shots. And then I see arguments, difficulties, disagreements, bickering. You know, I feel like some of you might have gotten tired of being like my way or the highway. Some of you might have gotten frustrated about this particular situation. Lots of loneliness from this individual. You see, they're suffering. They're suffering and suffering and suffering and it's sad. I see that they are so confused right now. So confused. But also at the same time, they're having this energy of like, you know, I'm ready for the fight. And a lot of their focus and, it, and attention is on that energy, like defensiveness, cautiousness. You know, if this person comes back into my life, I'll tell them, I'll show them. You know, I have a point to prove. And what does that achieve? Loneliness, sadness, misery. So sometimes people really do shoot themselves in the foot by being so stubborn, you know. I see that things need to change in this situation, right? Things need to change in respect of the situation. There has to be a new approach taken. Someone is being very stubborn. Let's find out more.
I see that this person, right, there's something that they have been deeply traumatized by. There's some sort of behavior, some sort of thing that they indulge in, some sort of thing that they get involved in where they can't really save themselves, right? I get the impression that this individual is um, the type that likes to be by themselves, likes to be miserable, doesn't know how to reach out to people. It's not that they like to be miserable. Again, it's like they don't know how to just enjoy the good things. It's like opportunities come to them and they see it. It's there offered to them. But then they might look at the negative side of things. They might not be able to see the positive, the good. There's some sort of inner turmoil and tension coming from within this individual and they're completely oblivious to it. Completely oblivious to it. Okay. So let's find out more. Yep, they're not following their intuition. They're not listening to their inner voice. Yep, about the breakup. There's something that's telling them to try to work this out to resolve it. But I also feel like they're very stressed out about the past. Very stressed out about something concerning the past. It's like they can't deal with it. They can't face it. They don't know how to handle it. They don't know what to do as a result of it. So extreme amount of stress coming from this individual. And there's an inability to truly deal with with some of the things that are on their mind, some of the things that have been, you know, troubling them for some time. So let's see. Why are they so defensive and cautious? It's as a result of the breakup, right? The breakup, the past. Oh, this has really messed with this person's mind. They don't know what to do. You see, it's all connected to the ending. Everything is having a very disastrous effect upon this life. This has been one of the deepest readings into this individual's psyche at this point of time. I do feel like, you know, what you see on the outside is not what you're seeing on the inside. There's so much more to this person than you can ever imagine. There's definitely an indication here that this individual hasn't been coping with uh, some of the energies that have been haunting them, some of the energies that have been troubling them and leaving them feeling like a sense of emptiness, leaving them feeling a sense of, you know, not being able to deal with some of these things that, um, are troubling them. So I do feel like the person you're dealing with is not completely comfortable with how things are occurring. And due to the nature of it, I feel like they're struggling to cope with uh, these energies, right? What are some other messages for Aquarius? Yes, it's telling you here that the situation is not as it appears. There are certain things that, um, you know, have to fall apart. 
in order for these changes to occur. There are going to be new beginnings, new horizons. You might feel a sense of conflict at this point of time. But of course, these changes that are coming, we're only going to be able to see them in the next few weeks. And I'll be able to pick them up in tarot card readings. But they haven't yet come into reality in order for me to go into it. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed your tarot card reading. If you want a personal one, you can get it at thetarotempress.com. Have a wonderful day and take care.